These have been feelings I've never felt before. Baby, I never want to let you go. You've been the finest that I've ever known. Got me all in my feelings. I had to let you know I hate you. Again. All right, yo, what's going on, YouTube? Finally back with another video for you guys. In this one, we're gonna be making a beat like Roddy Rich's The Box, but I'm gonna be putting my own little twist on it, and I'm gonna show you guys how you can make a beat using your own voice. So if you haven't seen the Complex video already, uh, they explained that Roddy Rich actually sampled his own voice on The Box, which is that So uh, that's what we're gonna be doing today, so I'm actually gonna sample my own voice. So first things first, we're gonna jump into FL Studio here. Got the BPM set at 117, because that's what The Box was set at. And then, uh, I'm gonna just open Omnisphere up. I'm gonna grab a piano and we're gonna get started right away. All right, so I'm gonna be using this wing upright because that sounded pretty good. Actually, I'm gonna see if I can find a little better one. Let's see. So dark indie, that might be something we like. There we go, that sounds good. All right, so first things first, I'm just gonna go and play a few 808 tones just to see what key I wanna start in. I'm thinking E, but let's, let's see. Actually, I'm gonna be using a, uh... oops, wrong, wrong back here. I think I'm gonna go with C minor. So I'm gonna go into the piano roll for Omnisphere. Let's set the scale highlighting to C minor, which is already set on actually. So perfect. And then I'm just gonna start out by laying down some bass notes. So I'm gonna go all the way down to C3. Throw this bass note in there real quick. Throw on the uh, metronome. And then I'm just gonna try and find a rhythm and a nice, uh, a nice bass line. So I like how this sounds. So this, this is probably starting like really weird to you guys at first, but just wait. Once I start stacking these chords, it'll sound a lot better. So first, I'm gonna bring these up just so I can start stacking the. Chords.
so this is perfect this is how that's gonna be the basic foundation for this entire beat so what I'm gonna do is route this to the first mixer track and just make this sound a little a little more uh, more like a pad so first I'm gonna take out a lot of the low end decent amount of the high end I'm just gonna bring a little bit more volume back by boosting up about uh, 1100 Hertz right here hit alt R just to randomize the velocities a little bit and I'm also gonna hold alt on my keyboard and scroll down just to bring down the uh, the velocity so it's less punchy and then I'm also gonna hit alt S to strum everything just to throw it off the grid a tiny bit so not too much because we don't want that strum sound but we do want it to sound a little off grid So I'm liking how that sounds, but I'm actually going to select all the bass notes and first even out the velocities and just bring the bass note velocity up a little bit because I do want this sound to be a little bass heavy. So this is perfect. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a Waves cassette. This is a new plugin that Waves just dropped. Uh, I'm not sure how new it is, but it's pretty nice. So uh, I'm going to go to the fourth preset right here. Bring the static down, and then just let's see how this sounds. Yeah, so as you can see, that adds a nice warmth to it. It's exactly what I want here. All right, so now I'm going to try and find like some kind of horn because that's kind of the vibe that the box has. You might not really realize it, but he, uh, the sample, I forgot what the sample actually is, but it, it has that like really old school, almost like a horn, like orchestra type feel to it. So I'm gonna try and just do something with that. All right, so I got this, uh, this horn right here from Sunita Orchestra. I'm not even sure where I got this plugin from, but it's either cheap or, uh, I'm pretty sure it's actually free. So let's see what we can do with this. I'm gonna have a bass note here. Copy this over, oops, too far. And then I'm gonna bring it up an octave because it's not registering this D sharp. And then what I'm gonna do is go to a third beat and I'm gonna have a, a higher octave right here that kind of just rolls upward. to G and I'm just going to hold it and then we're going to do the same thing for each of these notes but just less less notes so for G I'm going to go up and start at this G right here have it roll up to D so right there so um up an octave and then what we're gonna do is route this to a mixer track I'm gonna solo it just so I can hear it a little better and I'm just gonna pretty much entirely change the sound So that's good with the EQ, and then I'm going to add this effect rack. This is a great plugin by Sound Toys. Uh, and then I'm going to add Echo Boy. I'm going to hit this little settings knob right here to show some presets, and I'm going to roll through some of these. Uh, I think I'm looking for DM2. Yep. Sounds perfect. 
actually going to go in here and bring the feedback up a tiny bit and then the mix up. Perfect. And then I'm going to go to Ozone 8 Imager and just widen the sound a lot. duplicate this uh, orchestra and I'm just gonna see if they have like a little percussion type sound right here perfect Okay, cool. So that, that is pretty much the baseline for what I want to build this entire track around. So now we're just going to go ahead and try and add my voice to this beat. I'm going to turn my volume off through my monitors and throw some headphones on and just record my voice in here. So uh, you guys are going to hear this raw, so do not roast me in the comments for this. It'll sound a lot better when there's some effects on it. So just wait. <laughs> should work so first thing I'm gonna do hit take that off I'm gonna take this out and then all right so I got this recorded so first thing I'm gonna have to do is click this go to my master take off new tone but we're gonna go into Edison and delete this part click record and go to on play I'm gonna select right here and just play it so it could record e -er. E -er. Perfect, so now we go back into Edison, hit my arrow twice, delete, and then I'm gonna drag this piece back into the playlist. And now I'm gonna double click it and go uh, right click, edit and pitch corrector. And this is basically like auto-tune, so you can just change how, your, uh, how the pitch sounds. I'm taking the variation all the way down, center it so it's directly onto the note, and no transition, and then. E -er. I think I can just delete this. Let's see. <clears throat> delete that and that. Let's see. E and this. E er. It's a little cut here. Cut that. Select this and delete it. And we're going to go back. Oops. Cool. Got to go back to the move tool. I don't know how to get to, honestly. E -er. Of course, um, I'm a little stuck here. Can I just hit P? Nope. Oh, there we go. E Bring this down to C. E -er. e Delete this. E -er. So this is actually kind of sounding decent at best right now. Let's see what we could do. Let's delete this piece again. Let's see how this sounds. A little together. It's probably already going to sound a lot better. Oh, so I'm liking how this sounds already. Just bring it to four, I believe. Let's see, nothing's to four. Yep, perfect. All these are at four, and I'm just going to add a little bit of reverb and a little bit of delay. And I'm just going to EQ out uh, the lows just so there's none of that popping sound in there. E -er. E -er. E -er. Perfect. Um, and then I'm going to add this Valhalla plate on there just to add some reverb with a lot of decay. I should bring the decay down to 2.7. <clears throat> I'm going to bring the low gain all the way down. I'm gonna have this uh, this EQ all the way at the bottom too. E -er. E -er. E -er. E -er. 
perfect. And then I'm gonna add, uh, I'm gonna go to the effect rack again. Draw an Echo Boy, do the same thing. I'm gonna see how M2 sounds, DM2. <laughs> that's left is the drum so I'm gonna do the drums for you guys real quick and that should be about it after that so I'm gonna make a new pattern right here call it drums have it start right at this bar locate it over a little bit and we're just gonna repeat this and start running the drums <laughs> Feelings I've never felt before Baby, I never wanna let you go You've been the finest that I've ever known Got me all in my feelings I had to let you know I hate you All right guys, so for some reason my camera shut out when I was doing the outro to that video So that's all I got for now. I'm gonna let you guys hear the beat But uh, if you enjoyed the video hit that like button make sure you subscribe Stay tuned for some more because I'm definitely going to make some more videos. Hopefully hopefully every week now, but we'll see what happens. But uh, other than that, I hope you guys learned something. So see you later. Yeah. Turn it up, cute.